Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about what are the best traits to have as a bookkeeper. And I'll be doing this through the lens of some personality tests. So no, I'm not trying to put you in a box or say only certain personality types can be bookkeepers, but I do think this is kind of an interesting concept. Like what types of people gravitate towards certain jobs? And I'm kind of taking like the two most common personality tests that I know of, which are the Myers-Briggs test and the Enneagram. So I would love it if you could leave me a comment right now. And if you've taken one or both of those personality tests, let me know what you are. And maybe like the nickname of it, because that helps if we're not familiar with all of them. And let me know if you think that's been an asset to you as a bookkeeper. I'll go first. So for the Myers-Briggs, I'm an INFJ, which is nicknamed the counselor. And I remember when I took this test in college and I got my answer, it was like, wow, finally, something, someone understands me. Because I guess like INFJ is the most rare personality type. And so a lot of times we feel like we're like weird and like no one gets us. And we're also known to be pretty sensitive and empathetic. And so I did identify with a lot of those things. Not that I was like ever like an outcast or anything, but I was like, oh, there's some stuff people like don't get about me. Or I'm like a little quirky. And it also says you have this like big inner world. So like kind of like a big imagination, which I really identified with, especially when I was younger. So I don't really know how that relates to bookkeeping other than maybe being able to empathize with my clients. So know what they need, know what they want, and be able to solve their problems for them. I think that is one of my strengths. And maybe even within my YouTube channel, I can kind of like pinpoint what do you want to know as a new bookkeeper and kind of speak to that. All right, and for the Enneagram, I just took it again. I'll put my results up on the screen. But my number one is pretty much always consistently number three, which is an achiever which I find like kind of like sad. I don't, I'd rather be like, oh, I'm a peacemaker. I'm like something great and kind. But there are a lot of questions within the quiz about like goal setting and that kind of stuff. And I am a big goal setter and I, I am ambitious. I'm like, I have a grace with myself, but I am ambitious. So I think as an achiever, just the fact that I started a bookkeeping business and stuck with it, like that is the trait of an achiever, I believe. And one of my other top ones is a two, which is a giver. So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later as kind of one of the personalities that kind of does go hand in hand with bookkeeping. So generally I have two things that bookkeepers are kind of known for. Number one, they're detail oriented and organized. They like to work in kind of like a structured environment. Number two is that they're enterprising. So they're kind of like natural leaders who enjoy, you know, working with people, influencing people. So those are kind of like working traits, like how you work, but the personality traits, the two top ones that I thought of are number one, social responsibility. So I believe that bookkeepers are into fairness and thankfully most of the accountants and bookkeepers that I know and that I've come across want to do the right thing. They're not trying to cheat the system. They're trying to encourage their clients as much as possible to follow the rules and be ethical. I did make kind of like a humorous video about the worst clients ever. You can check it out. The thumbnail looks like that. And that speaks to some of the times that maybe clients want to bend the rules, but you as a bookkeeper do not. And number two, personality trait is agreeableness. And this is just kind of that sympathy or empathy to clients. Like you want to help them. You value harmony, that kind of thing. Let me know if you are not agreeable and as a bookkeeper, let me know in the comments if you disagree with that. I would also say as a bookkeeper, you need to be reliable and trustworthy. If people are going to trust you with their finances, that is very key. So keeping those traits in mind, I picked out the three Enneagrams that I think are the most bookkeeper-ish. Let me know if you agree or if you are these types. First of all, type one, the perfectionist type nine, the peacemaker, and type three, the achiever. So the perfection is kind of self-explanatory. You know, we're detail-oriented. We want everything to be perfect. We want things to look good for our clients. I think that one aligns very well. And type nine, peacemakers, are gonna be really good with clients. So they're gonna be able to listen to the client's problems, solve those problems, understand where they're coming from. And then type three, I already talked about a little bit because that's what I am. So just the ability to go out, set those goals, get your business running. That is an achiever personality in my opinion. All right, and then I picked my top three for the Myers-Briggs as well. Okay, I'm gonna refer to my notes a little bit here. So ESTJ is one of them and their nickname is the Overseer. And they are known for relying heavily on facts and also um, being consistent and observant. And just a random fact, two of the three of these I picked are extroverts. So I wanna know also if you are an introvert or an extrovert. I identify really strongly as an introvert and I am friendly and people sometimes are surprised that I'm an introvert, but I 100% need tons of downtime and alone time to recharge. All right, the second one I picked out 
is a ISTJ, and these are the examiners, and they are known to be conscientious, dedicated, and honorable. So again, this really plays to that trustworthiness trait that we were talking about earlier. All right, and the other one is an ENFJ, which is similar to mine, just extroverted, not introverted. And these types I actually learned are considered mentors, which makes sense for me. I think both the introverted and extroverted are considered mentors. So that makes sense that I kind of gravitated to mentoring other bookkeepers. This is their positive, supportive, and they connect well with others. And I'll link in the description box where I found a lot of these descriptions here. And of course, I would never say that someone like couldn't be a bookkeeper because of how they scored on some personality tests. I do think it's interesting to kind of like Think it through, find the similarities, find the differences, analyze yourself, like what do you like about this job? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Like what drew you to this business? What drew you to this career? I would love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel to get a new bookkeeping video every week. I don't even think I said my name yet, but if you've never met, thank you for making it all the way to the end. And my name is Morgan. My website is finepoints.biz. I love to help bookkeepers. I have a bunch of free resources. I have a free masterclass and a free checklist and tons of other stuff. You can also look in the description box for a lot of that information. And I need to say this more, but a thumbs up helps me out a ton. It really helps YouTube like promote this video more so other people can see it and promote my channel. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. I really appreciate you watching and commenting and liking my videos. It means so much and it's so fun to get to know you. I'll be talking to you again next week with another video. Take care.